ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕ ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರಿಯೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿರತ್ತಾಂ ಸುಧಾಹೃತಿ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸರಂಗ ಪರಕಾಲ ಮುನಿತ್ರಯಾಪ್ತಲಕ್ಷ್ಮ ರಕ್ಷಣ ಜಗಮಾಂತ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪರಿಭೂತ ಮರ್ಗಶೀಲ ಗೋಪಾಲ ದೇಶಿಕ ಮುನಿ ಗುರು ಆಶ್ರಯಾಮಹ ಎನ್ನುಯಿರ್ ತಂದ ಅಳಿತವರೈ ಶರಣಂ ಪುಕ್ತಿ ಯಾನಡೈವೆ ಅವರ ಗುರುಕ್ಕ ನೆರೆಯ ವನಂಗಿ ಪಿನ್ನರುಳಾಲ್ ಪೆರಿಂಬೂದೂರ್ ವಂದವಳ್ಳಲ್ ಪೆರಿಯ ನಂಬಿ ಆಳವಂದಾಲ್ ಮಣಕ್ಕಾಲ್ ನಂಬಿ ನನ್ನೆರಿಯೈ ಅವರ್ ಕುರೈತ ಉಯ್ಯಕ್ಕೊಂಡಾರ್ ನಾಥಮುನಿ ಷಡಗೋಪನ್ ಶೇನೈನಾಥನ್ ಇನ್ನ ಮೊದ ತಿರುಮಗಳೆಂದು ಇವರೇ ಮುನ್ನಿಟ್ಟು ಎಂಪೆರಿಮಾನ್ ತ್ರಿವಳಿಗಳೈ ಅಡೈಹಿಂದ್ರೇನೆ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಪಾಸುರಂ ಬೈ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ದೇಶಿಕನ್ ಪೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಒಬೇಸನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರಂಸ್ ಪ್ರಣಾಮಂಸ್ ಟು ದ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪೆರಿಮಾನ್ and he enlists the entire acharya lineage so beautifully sri apati sri man narayana sri mahalakshmi sri vishwakshena namalwar shatakopan then sri man nathamuni and then vuyakonda pundari kaksha then rama mishra manakkal nambi yamuna acharya periya nambi ramanuja so the entire lineage up to ramanuja is so beautifully encapsulated in this wonderful verse so we are i been given this great title called fourth rama rama mishra is the fourth rama rama mishra is coming after uyakondar pundari kaksha his tamil name is manakkal nambi and he is the one who transformed Swami Alavandar into our Acharya lineage. So, this Rama Mishra is the fourth Rama. The title of this topic is the fourth Rama. So, who are the three Ramas? Munnumi Ramanai, Tanai, Pinnumi Ramanai. Trimangi Ayurvar says, Munnumi Ramanai is Kodanda Raman, Dasharata Raman, and ತಾನಾಯ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪರಶುರಾಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನದರ್ ರಾಮನ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಲರಾಮ ಸೊ ಪರಶುರಾಮ ರಾಮನ್ ಬಲರಾಮ ಪರಶುರಾಮ ಅವತಾರ ದೆನ್ ಕೋದಂಡ ರಾಮ ಆರ್ ದಶರಥ ರಾಮ ಅವತಾರ ದೆನ್ ಬಲರಾಮ ಅವತಾರ ಸೊ ತ್ರೀ ರಾಮಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ರಾಮ ಈಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಮನಕ್ಕಾಲ್ ನಂಬಿ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮ ಮಿಶ್ರ ಸೊ ವೈ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಪಾರಿಸನ್ ಆರ್ equating Rama Mishra to other three avatarans of Mahavishnu. So beautifully composed by Swami Desikan in Yatiraja Saptati, which we will reach in a couple of minutes. Before that, we would enjoy the Manakkal Nambi or Rama Mishra's life. So, Sri Rama Mishra or Manakkal Nambi was born in the year 832. So, about 1400 years back 1200 years back so he he was the amsam of kumuda kumuda and he appeared in masi makam makam nakshatram in the masi month shri ramanishar took avataram in manakkal agraharam and hence he is called manakkal nambi also he was performing as a very obedient faithful disciple to shri pundari taksha uyakonda who was also a shishya of shri manatha muni and he our manakkalandi also lived in the age of shri manatha muni he must have seen natha muni also so he learnt vedanta upadesham from uyakonda studying from him learning from him for almost 12 years and after acharyans devi uyakonda's devi had attained acharyan trivadi our manakkal nambi is the one who performed all kankaryam to his acharyan uyakonda including the marappalli kankaryam and manakkal nambi had nine shishyas now swami mentions that he is the one he was told by shriman nathamuni to spot his shriman nathamuni's grandson who is alavandar to transform him into and to put him back into sri vaishnava fold 
into our lineage, into our sampradaya, sat sampradaya. Why he had to say that, Sriman Nathamani? Because the grandfather found that his grandson has, had already become a king. How did he become a king? Because when Yamanacharya or Swami Alavandar, when he was about 16 years old, he had already learnt Vedam Vedantam from his Guru, whoever that was. And once an arrogant Vidwan by name Akki Alvan was challenging and humiliating everyone, the Vedantic scholars, the learned man, the erudite scholars, and Yamuna, the 16 year old boy, he accepted the challenge of Akki Alvan and said, he would come and face Akhi Alvan in, in, in front of the king, local king, in the court to argue with him. So the queen, when he was coming in the palanquin, the, our 16 year old boy, to the palace, the queen and the king saw from their balcony. And the queen, when he saw the Tejasvi, our Alavandar, she was so impressed and overwhelmed with joy that this boy is going to conquer and she persuaded the king to, to, that if he wins against Aki Alvan, the king has to give away half the kingdom if he wins in the battle and the king asked if he loses because he knows about Aki Alvan, if he loses what happens? The queen said I may be thrown to the wild dogs. She took herself she sacrificed herself for our Yamanacharya. So if the boy failed, she offers herself to the wild dogs, to be eaten away by the dogs. So Aki Alvan, when he met him, met the boy in the palace, he asked the boy, because you are young, I will not start, you start. You state three prepositions, either positive or negative and I will counter all your three statements. And if he could not, if Aki Alvan cannot counter, the boy will be declared the winner. So Aki Alvan was very confident that whoever, whatever this boy says, he can counter. He was so knowledgeable as well, scholar, Vedantic scholar, Aki Alvan. And he was a Tarkavadi. He, he can quote logic and he can win. So Yamuna stated three statements. He asked Aki Alvan to counter those three statements. And what are those three statements? Listen carefully. He said the first statement, your mother is not a barren woman, means malady. Your mother is not a malady, means she has given birth to a child. Obviously it is true, she has given birth to Aki Alvan. So, her, his mother is not actually a barren woman because she has given birth to Aki Alma. So naturally he could not counter that his mother is a barren woman because he is very much standing in front of Yamunacharya. So first statement, Yamuna wins. Second statement, it's like the penalty stroke. Second statement, the king is a righteous and powerful ruler, Raja Sarvabhavan. The king is the most virtuous and most powerful ruler. Obviously, Aki Alvan cannot counter this. He cannot say, the king is not a virtuous ruler. The king is not a powerful ruler. Obviously, the king will be antagonized by that. He is standing in front of the king. So, he had to accept. So, second penalty also, our Yamanacharya wins. The third, the queen is a model of chastity. She is a patibratai. Oh no, no, Aki Alvan can never ever counter this. Not in front of the king, even if she is not. So, Aki Alvan accepted defeat. That all three penalty goal for our Yamunacharya. Aki Alvan accepted defeat and the king now asked Yamuna, you, you won, of course, but you also have to counter, disprove your own statements. You cannot just like that make any statement and win. The sun rises in the east. Nobody can counter. So, that doesn't mean that you are a winner. You have to disprove. Yamuna clarified, I will disprove. The sacred laws, the Shastra says, 
only one son, only one child is not a son child at all. You have to have more than more than one. So Akiyalvan's mother is as good as a barren woman in the eyes of the Sastra. So she is a barren woman. Number two, the king cannot be called righteous or powerful because there is the Lord who is powerful. Because the king let this arrogant person to be his assembly courtesan, to be his Shabha, in his Shabha he accepted this arrogant Aki Alvan. How can he be powerful when he is so powerless accepting this arrogant false prestige guy in his assembly? This means that the king is indeed powerless. And of course the Piraman is the Sarva Bhavan. All others are not. Number three, according to the Shruti text, every woman is wedded in the, in the Vedic wedding, first to Soma, then to Gandharva, third to Agni, before marrying the actual earthly groom, the partner. So every woman has to undergo these three weddings, first to Soma, then to Gandharva, third to Agni, before marrying this partner. So the queen was no way exception. So therefore she cannot be called a Patibrata. She has already married three people. So this is only to drive home a point that Tarkam and logic cannot be the solution fully. One has to fall back on Shastras, the Smritis, the, the Shrutis for Pramanas. That's the key. So Alavandar won and the king sent Akyalvan out of his kingdom and gave Yamuna half his kingdom. The queen hailed the boy, Yannai Aravandar Ivar. He came to rule me. So hence he was called Aravandar. So Aravandar became the king for the half of his kingdom and could not attend to spiritual pursuits any further. He was busy doing his work, doing his royal duties, just like each one of us. Meanwhile, our Rama Mishra Manakkal Nambi and that's what we are. We need to talk about. He was trying to catch Yamana Acharya's attention to fulfill his promise to his guru, Sriman Nathamuni, to instill the, the in desire in Alavandar to come into our fold, to install Alavandar as the spiritual successor to Nathamuni. He could not meet Alavandar at all because he was very busy as a king. And this person is after all a, a Brahmin, scholar, Vedantic scholar, king would no, no way be interested to see him. And so he came out with an idea, our Manakkal Nambi, Rama Mishra. He came to know that the king relishes the spinach, a kind of spinach called Tudu Valai Kira. So he liked the Kira Kutu very much. So what he did, he supplied the Tudu Valai Kira Urkat every day to the royal kitchen, to the cook, every day. After about three or four months, the Aravandar of course relished eating that kirai every day. After few months, he stopped supplying. The king asked, why these days no tudwalai kirai to the cook? Where is the spinach, scooted? So they replied, one Brahmin used to supply every day, he does not come nowadays. Aravandar said, a Brahmin came to see me and gave tudwalai, why he should do that? Anyway, when he comes next time, please bring him to me. Next day, Rama Mishra came and brought the Thuruvalai Kirai and immediately the cook went and brought Rama Mishra to the king, Alavandar. Rama Mishra was asked by Alavandar, why did you bring every day? Who are you? Why were you interested in giving spinach to me? He told Alavandar about his grandfather Sriman Nathamuni. He had passed on the family wealth, the Kula Dhanam, that needs to be handed over to you, Swami Alavandar. Alavandar said, okay, is that so? Give me that, give it to me. I am ready to accept. He taught some gemstone, some vairam, vaidurium, komedakam, something. So he, he said, it's not with me. You have to come with me. He said, okay, I will come. He took him all the way to Sri Rangam, Periyapirumar. 
द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल मेजेस्टिक डिवाइन பெரிய பெருமாள் ஆராத அருளமுதம் பொதிந்த கோயில் பெரிய கோயில் ஈஷோடு ஆள வந்தார் திவ்ய மங்கள விக்ரம ஸ்ரீ ரங்கநாதன் பெரிய பெருமாள் லுக்கிங் அட் த லார்ட் த டிவைன் ஸ்பிளண்டர் த மெஜஸ்டிக் பியூட்டி அண்ட் லுக்கிங் வித் டியர்ஸ் ரோலிங் டவுன் இட் சீக்ஸ் ஹி லுக் அட் தோஸ் பியூட்டிஃபுல் லார்ஜ் வெல் லைட் அவுட் கரியவாகி புடை பறந்து மிளிர்ந்து செவ்வரி ஓடிய நீண்ட பெரியவாய கண்கள் dark well spread shining ruddy lined long large darting eyes the welcoming eyes he burst out alavanda because he was already he already had a kataksham from the acharyan he had already had the smaranam by sriman nathamuni he has already been eating the prasadam given by the acharyan manakkal nambi so he had he had already it was brewing inside him and it just had to happen and he burst out i have nothing to give you none at all i have no disqual i have no qualification i'm completely disqualified i am not religious what a great person my grandfather was why where am i i have been i have been wasting my life i am no one but you the embodiment of daya the compassion na dharma nishtosmi na satma vedi na bhakti ma ரவிந்தே அசிஞ்சன அனன்ய கதிகி சரண்ய தொற்பாத மூலம் சரணம் பிரபத்யே ரெஸ்ட் இஸ் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஹி பிகேம் எ சன்னியாசி அண்ட் ஹி பிகேம் யாவனாச்சாரியா அண்ட் அஃப்கோர்ஸ் ஹி இஸ் த பிராச்சாரியன் ஆஃப் அவர் பகவத் ராமானுஜா ஹி இஸ் ஒன் ஹூ ஸ்பாட்டட் ராமானுஜா வித் யாதவ் பிரகாசன் அண்ட் பிளெஸ்ட் ஹிம் விச் இஸ் வைலட்சண்ய கட்டாட்சம் சேயிங் ஆம் முதல்வன் இவன் சோ கமிங் பேக் டு அவர் ராமமிஷ்வர் மனக்கால் நம்பி he is the one who brought alavandar into our acharya lineage what a great kaikaryam upakaram help he did by bringing yamuna acharya into our acharya lineage so coming to our fourth rama compared to the three ramas the shloka from yatiraj saptati is anujjita anujjita chama yogam apunya jana badakam அஸ்பிருஷ்டமதராகம் தம் ராமம் துரியம் உபாஸ்மகே அனுஜித சமாயோகம் சோ ஹியர் ஹி வாஸ் வி ஆர் டேங் அவர் ஹோமேஜ் அவர் உபேசன்ஸ் அவர் நமஸ்காரம் பை ப்ரொலாங்க் மெடிடேஷன் தியானம் ஆன் ஸ்ரீ ராமமிஸ்ரா த மனக்கால் நம்பி த ஃபோர்த் ராமா ஹூ இன்சிடென்டலி எக்ஸல்ஸ் ஆல் த அதர் த்ரீ ஏர்லியர் ராமா the parasurama kodandarama and balarama how did he excel in which way because parasurama is the one who was asked by his father jamadagni when the, when of course the name rama means he has to obey his parents so just as dasarata rama was famed for his pitruvachya paripalana treating his father's words as holier than the scripture our bhagavata rama the parasurama carried out his father's wishes instantly and without any question even though they involved the beheading of his mother enraged by his wife delay in bringing water for his vaidhya kriya jamadagni was supposed to perform some vaidhya kriya and he asked renuka to bring water and immediately she, she was delayed maybe she was looking at whatsapp message she was delayed and she brought the water after some time it completely enraged jamadagni he asked his sons he had five sons he asked his sons to go and behead his wife go and cut her neck what a what a reaction so the four sons obviously declined they disobeyed the father so he told the last son the parasurama to kill not only his mother but also the disobedient brothers the four brothers without batting an eyelid and without a moment's hesitation parasurama carried out his father's order and the pleased jamadagni now sought to ask parasurama he asked me anything i will give you to his obedient son parasurama and parasurama start as the one and only boon the restoration of his mother and the brothers to life back parashurama knew his father's psychology very well 
he acted instantly and with with immediately in carrying out the distasteful order knowing fully well that he would reverse the execution and they came back to life but our ramamishar he has got patience he waited waited and waited for alavandar to call him he never said nathamuni asked me so i need to see the king or oh, send me in let me in i'll go and barge in to the king kingdom king's palace and i will talk to him he had he had full patience unlike parashurama okay he is better than parashurama what about kodandarama dasharatha rama dasharatha rama so swami desikan is kavi simha he is a poetic skill look at his skill he said apunya the, the punya jana is called in our in sanskrit for for rakshasas they are called punya janas so our rama killed the punya janas so the, the punya janas were killed by rama in his avatar whereas rama mishra is the one who protects the punya janas and here it is apunya janas the sadhus the vaishnavas sri vaishnavas the the, the bhagavata uttama he he says he serves he does not kill them right like rama so he is better than kodanda rama that's the playful words of swami jayasekar it is like what our uh, our brutus said after killing julius caesar not that i love caesar less but that i but that i love rome more so similarly he said vedanta jayasekar appears to say not that he loves rama less kodanda rama parashurama and balarama but that he loves manakkal nandi ramamishra more so here kodanda rama has been compared now balarama balarama is supposed to be he is the first is roshanama then karuna kapusta now balarama is supposed to be he is supposed to be taking liquor and he is supposed to have red eyes and that is what we mention in the shloka so however there is it, it, there are two meanings for the word varuni balarama has had a wife spouse by name varuni and he was very fond of his spouse now varuni is also kalle tadi sarake so he was completely fond of varuni which our people the, the the sanskrit scholars interpret to say that he was fond of the liquor and hence he was red eyed because of vatsalyam love i uh, see on his spouse varuni his eyes were filled with love and so it was red so here again our sri rama mishra does not have such habits and hence he is better than the three ramas the fourth rama is ultimate he was also unlike balarama who was who was to who, who had taken to drinking liquors and so he can be described our rama mishra as not tainted by this drink by the associated vanity so devika says we pay continuous homage continuous obeisance to the fourth rama आचार्य त्रिवड़ेशरण कविताक सिंहाय कल्याण गुणशालिने श्रीमते वेंकटेशाय वेदांत गुरवे नम धन्योस्मे हरिये